we had a bunch of viewers asking us what's wrong with our pig links. And I honestly believe What are you doing? And the broody hen's been staying out. Good morning, modern steaders. It's been nice that the broody hen's not broody. We don't feed our egg layers that much because they free range. We wanna make sure they're out working. If we feed them too much, they're just gonna be lazy all day long and they're not gonna be out eating the bugs, the ticks, and all the things we want them to get. Good morning, Lynx, and Sausage. Rufus, excuse you. Excuse you, sir. We had a bunch of viewers asking us what's wrong with our pig, Lynx. And I honestly believe she's just an overeater. She'll eat too much sometimes and then she's got a nap. Huh, Lynx? You just like to overeat, don't you? And now you're blowing bubbles. Crazy. Figaro pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm waiting to see him out here somewhere. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen him yet. I don't know where he came from, but look who I found. Figaro, what have you been up to, huh? Mister? Crazy cat. You girls give us any more eggs? Yep. We have two eggs this morning. We got the first one from our Easter egg layers and another brown one from the Novagins. I'm really surprised the Easter egg layers are laying already. When we had Americanas before, it took them five to six months to start laying. You want an egg this morning? I'll give you one egg and I'll give you another egg. Right here, sausage. Look. There you go. I know I said I was going to take out New York City. The reason I haven't yet is when I took off my ballast box of the tractor, I forgot that's got the trailer hitch on it. And instead, I got the York rake on the back of the tractor. So we're gonna have to wait a little while, or a few more days anyways, we'll have to see how much time I have to take the York rake off and put that back on and we can move New York City. Ready to go milking? Yeah. Oh, hi. There's your cap. Morning. What's that? You think it's nice out? I was just gonna say it's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky, but it feels nice. I'm supposed to get like three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain today, and I hope it doesn't wash out the dirt in the new pasture area. That would not be good. That's why I'm nervous for too much rain, yeah. huh? Your goats have been noisy this morning. Really? Really. They've been calling for you. Hear them? Yeah. What? She's 
She's like, there's no food in there. What do you mean, get my food? You tricked at me. It's right there with the water. Bone head. Look, Willow, you made me make a mess all over your head. So I always forget to show these. We got our two mineral feeders. We have loose goat mineral, baking soda, food grade DE, diatomaceous earth, and then we have kelp. And this morning I'm gonna put a flake of hay right here on the ground, because it's supposed to rain today. I don't wanna have to worry about the goats jumping on a feeder, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's checking out the hay already. Look. What the heck? You like to eat, don't you? Chaff hay and now regular hay. Every time we go out to go into the garden, it starts raining on us. Getting more and more cucumbers. They're doing pretty good growing up on those trellises, which is nice. Look at all them tomatoes. Not seeing any starting to turn color yet. The bitter lettuce. I don't see any summer squash starting. See lots of flowers. Oh, maybe a couple of tiny, tiny summer squash. Nothing big. String beans are staying about the same size. Nope. We better put this squash get it oh get it out of the strawberry netting. Those are growing up nice and high. Another one we want to train up. Curious of. Awesome. It's looking, it's looking good. It's getting some good color on it. Same with over here. I hate when the little ones start rotting right away. I don't know why they do that. Ouch. One of the subscribers warned me. I think it was Rhonda in the other video. These darn pesky zucchini plants, they get some pretty good little prickers on them. And it just bit me. That's a beautiful bright flower. The peppers are nice and green, but we're not getting any flowers yet. But what we've been using this year for our fertilizer when we see our plants need more nitrogen, we've been top dressing them with the coast of Maine lobster compost. And I'll tell you what, that stuff's been working amazing. Potato plants are looking good. Bring the pig some slop. But looking like sausage is staying in and links. You girls aren't liking the rain this morning? 
If you don't come out, the chickens are gonna get it. There you go. You coming, Lynx? You're missing out on the good stuff. That white one is an Easter egg layer. The brown one, I think it's an Easter egg layer too, or a Novagen, it's hard saying. The reason why I say maybe an Easter egg layer is because the feathers aren't all brown. And then this one right here is an Easter egg layer, and these are our two Icelandic chickens. I think that's where the goats are gonna be spending most of their time today. I was like, I ain't coming out in that stuff. Where are the two babies? Huh? They eating hay? Yup. Alright girls, enjoy that slop. I gotta go to work. Be interesting to see where the goats are when we get home. So far we only got that much rain. And now they're only calling for a quarter inch of rain total today. So that's a good thing for the pasture. Do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go out, mister? Come on. The rain that we did get today while I was at work was a nice slow drizzle. So it was, oh, it was a dead mouse, Figaro. You don't wanna see that, trust me. So it was a nice slow drizzling rain that will soak into the ground, which is a good thing. We need this first. What are you girls doing? You want to come out for a little while? How's that sound? Now the reason I got the fiberglass pole. There we go. You want to come out before it rains again? Come on. I'll let you eat some brows. Just don't touch the fence, Willow. Girls like that chair, you're crazy. I figured you'd want to eat some of the branches and stuff, Willow. Not just play in the chair. That's more like it. I still can't get over how they eat the blackberry bushes like that. Well, I bet the goats are inside. Man, we'll have to see how the pasture does with all this rain. The chickens are liking it. This one chicken's like, I'm going back to the chicken coop. Maybe not. Where you going, Blackie? Oh, here comes Rufus. Let's go to the chicken coop. Man, look at all that water out there. Holy moly. Every time we get rainstorms, this is what happens. It's been about five minutes and look how much rain we got. And now it's over. Got a bunch of little duck ponds out there in the pasture.
I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera, but we got three quarters of an inch of rain, which that won't show up on camera. But now the sky is beautiful out and the lighting of everything around is just amazing. Well, are you ready for your nightly milking? And you girls ready for your night snack? This is where I'm gonna end today's video and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye.